Welcome to the Prophecy Club. Our topic today is, Is the Bear Angry Enough to Destroy America Yet? And yes, I have some new information for you. Also, if you have an IRA or a 401k or you want to get some gold or silver, I'd recommend you call 800-200-GOLD. They're Christians and they can give you some good advice. Make certain that you're not going to lose your life savings in your IRA or your 401k. Also, they have a prepper bar, which you can call from some of the numbers behind me there. Okay, let's get on to the new information. This comes to us as a vision from You Be Ready or Byron Searle, 92124. It's a vision. Now, Revelation 3 3 says, I'll come on thee as a thief. 15 says, Behold, I come as a thief. Talking about Jesus. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. In other words, if Jesus comes and you don't have your lamps full of oil and trimmed, you might not get to go to the marriage supper of the Lamb with the rest of us. No, that's not a pre-trib rapture. That's about four months before Jesus returns. But again, I explain that in my book, Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy. So he says, Today in prayer, the Lord gave me a vision. I suddenly found myself walking along a path in a field heading toward a wooded, mountainous area ahead of me. As I walked, I noticed how quiet and peaceful it was. Then suddenly, right in front of me, I saw a huge bear emerge from the forest tree line and head off towards the right side of my view. It was very large, tan to light brown in color, and appeared to be a grizzly bear. In other words, the biggest, strongest, the most aggressive of the bears is my understanding. The bear did not notice me, but walked a short distance, then came to a stop. I slowly crept up closer to see what it was doing, and I got close enough to see, but remained out of the bear's sight. I then saw a small stream, and the bear appeared to be fishing or looking for fish. All was quiet. When a large eagle swooped down, this is important, swooped down at a high speed and snatched the fish away from the bear right out of its paws. The bear was very angry, but it soon went back to fishing again. Now, who's the bear? Oh, that would be Russia. Who's the eagle? eagle? That would be America. Now, in my opinion, this is probably talking about when Trump took over, They, the Ru Russians were about to build a big pipeline supplying, I believe it was crude oil, might have been gas, but crude oil, to all of Europe. He put a stop to it. And then as soon as Biden came in, he allowed it to go forth again. And then the rumor is that Biden, <laughs> we haven't proven this, but probably it was Biden, then blew up one of the Russian pipelines. So has America attacked the Russian bear? Already it has. And in many other programs, I've showed you that we have already stepped across several red lines, several lines to where if the, if the Russian bear wanted to attack America, it could already, and he could already do it, and Russia could already say, wait a minute, they drew first blood. Let's go on. So as the bear caught another fish, the eagle swooped down again. Only this time, the bear was ready and swatted the eagle. The eagle then came back with a vengeance and attacked the bear. Russia could say, we've already attacked her. But... Right now, and I've covered this before too, Russia is warning that if the long-range missiles that America, the Brits, and NATO sent to Ukraine, if they kill Russians on Russian territory, that the Russians will attack and it's not going to stay on the Russian side of the Atlantic. In other words, it's about to get very painful. Now, Russia knows that Russia can't just attack America a little. It's either an all-out destroy America in one hour with a total massive attack, a massive surprise attack, or not at all. And that's what the prophecies say, too. The eagle then came back with a vengeance and attacked the bear. I saw the eagle sharp's talons tearing at the bear's flesh. We're already doing that. And apparently the prophecy says it's about to get worse. 
But then the bear raised up, caught hold of the eagle. It grabbed the eagle by the wings and tore them off, then flung the eagle to the ground. I saw the eagle lying on the ground, kicking and screeching. The bear went over to the eagle, stomped on it with its huge paws, then grabbed the eagle's head and tore it off. That's very similar to what Michael Boldea was shown. I'll read it in just a minute. After a minute, the bear took its food, then walked back into the forest, leaving the eagle's lifeless body lying on the ground, and the vision ended. The Lord spoke this to me. He said, My son, what I've shown you is how America is always taunting Russia with sanctions, taking away its food and energy. But very soon, Russia will rise up quickly and surprise, surprise. I've got another uh, vision, I guess it is, on that here in just a second, too. And surprise America with a fatal attack. This attack will be fast and vicious, and America will be no more. My judgment on America by Russia is, is just from the beginning. In other words, what we're seeing is the early phases of the fall of America. Tell my children to repent and turn from the wicked ways. I will forgive them, for I'm patient and just. Time is running out for America as continues to provoke Russia. It will come at night, in the early morning hours. Most will be asleep when the fire comes, but very quickly it will come. Repent now. It will come as I will come as a thief in the night. Now, article. Pray for peace as the madman of the West, that's us, that's America, okay? America, Brits, NATO, as the madmen of the West are about to plunge the world into a mass death scenario that will catch Americans completely by surprise. Hmm, that's just what the vision showed, right? Western media stays mum on the biggest story of the century. It appears to be a matter of when, not if, the Biden administration grants approval for Ukraine to use the U.S. supplied, and I might add, U.S satellite-guided attackums missiles against Russia inside Russia. These missiles were sent by the U.S. to Ukraine about a year ago, but with the restrictions that they could not be launched into Russia proper. The heads of state in the United Kingdom and Canada, perhaps the U.S.'s closest NATO allies, are pushing hard for the Biden administration to approve long-range hits on Russian cities and infrastructure almost guaranteeing the start of World War III. The regime of the Russian President Vladimir Putin has made it clear, several times I might add, that nothing less than a direct retaliation against the U.S. and U.K. will result, result, will result from such a fateful decision. In other words, America, you hit us. You kill Russians on Russian soil and we're going to take you out. But America, headed up by Molochs and in control of the Molochs and the evil people that desire to destroy America, remember they told Benjamin Fulford, we've ruled this planet for thousands of years and we'll destroy it rather than give it up. This is them making good on it. They will destroy America. Now, here's another confirmation of what we're talking about. This way back in 2004. Michael Boldea, which is the grandson of Dmitry Dudeman. I dreamed I was walking through a sparsely wooded forest, and suddenly my attention was drawn to an eagle flying high above the tree line. It was a beautiful sight to behold as the eagle rode the thermals, flying its slow, lazy arcs across the blue sky. I began to quicken my pace and keep up with the eagle's flight, all the while keeping an eye on it and noticing that it was slowly descending toward the earth. And for many years now, America has been slowly falling away from Jesus. I followed it for a long time, its descent not being sudden, but very gradual. Finally, I came upon a small clearing where there were no trees, just some bushes on the edges of the green grass. The eagle landed in the clearing and began to look around, not seeming to notice me. As I began to wonder what the relevance of this was, a man dressed in white hands well, why? Hands clasped in front of him, appeared beside me and said, Be patient. In due time, you will see the purpose. I was silent as I watched the eagle. It was beginning to grow somewhat impatient when suddenly, it seemed out of nowhere, a brown snake lunged at the eagle and bit down on the left wing. That's 9-11. 
The snake strike was very quick and very precise. The eagle ra reacted without delay, clawing and pecking at the snake, cutting deep wounds in its underbelly. Remember, we went to war with Afghanistan and Iraq after this, trying to defend itself and ward off the serpent. As it seemed the eagle was winning the battle, like now, okay, we pulled out, okay, and the serpent was retreating, another serpent appeared, red and black diagonal stripes covering its body, and without hesitation struck out on the eagle's right wing, biting down and refusing to release. My opinion, that's suitcase nukes. After a momentary tug of war, the serpent tore off flesh and feathers, leaving a large wound on the eagle's right wing. The second bite was much worse than the first, and for an instant the eagle was stunned. Then a serpent, much larger than the previous two, made up of many colors or many nations, slithered toward the eagle, opened its mouth, lunged and took the whole of the eagle's mouth, eagle's head in its mouth before biting down. That's the Russian attack that destroys America in one hour as was told to Dmitry Dudeman. The serpents retreated, and the man who had been standing beside me walked to the eagle, knelt, picked it up, held it in his cupped hands. The look of grief on his face was beyond any I've seen in my life. Just looking at the man's face broke your heart. The man continued to look down at the eagle with a pained voice, said, The true tragedy is that at any moment he could have sought the safety of the above. At any moment, America could stop sinning and repent and turn to Jesus. Jesus would hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. But we don't do that. The true tra tragedy is that at any moment it could have sought the safety of the above. It could have soared toward the heavens and would have found its protection. This has been revealed to you that you may know that the first bite, 9-11, has been the second bite, suitcase nukes in my opinion, is yet to come, and the third will be its destruction. The second bite seemed to come from an unexpected place. See, most people don't even know that there are suitcase nukes in America, much less that they're going to go off. Here's an article I put on a couple of days ago, but it still fits, so I'll cover it briefly. Russia is literally threatening us with World War III. But most people in the Western world don't seem to care. Well, part of it is they don't know because the news is not telling them. They're entirely convinced that the Russians will never use nuclear weapons, so they're not afraid to keep pushing the Russians closer to a breaking point. When the Russians finally reach their breaking point, what will they do? They will destroy us in one hour, the prophecies say. The Russians have been feverish, feverishly preparing to fight a nuclear war. Today, their strategic nuclear arsenal and their anti-missile systems are far superior to our own. Whoever strikes first, they say, will have the best chance of surviving a nuclear conflict, and we know that that's exactly what they do. Take us out in one hour, as Revelation 18 says. Now, let's jump to another one. Dimitri, 1997. I just read this a couple of days ago, so I'm not going to read every word you can pause and read it if you want to. So Dimitri knelt beside his bed, as he did every night. All of a sudden, he was in a vision. The angel pointed and said, see and remember. He saw a small bear seemed half dead. This is Perestroika and Glossnose way back in the 80s. But it seemed to revive itself. It became angrier, began to paw the ground. Soon the bear was able to devastate all, that would be America and NATO nations, all that stood in its path until it came upon some men with sticks trying to fend it off. Russia is so big and powerful, so much more advanced weapons that God has seen to it that they get. God has given them those weapons. Why? Because America has fallen away and started sinning. She's become the habitation of devils, the hold of every foul spirit, in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird, Revelation 18. By this time, the bear had grown so large it simply crushed the men underfoot and continued to rampage. At first, they thought the great bear was dead, but it grows with power and strength and anger. Suddenly, it destroys America. Now, here's another confirmation. This is Virginia Bulldad. This is uh, Dimitri's grand 
No, this is Dimitri's daughter. That's right, Dimitri's daughter. 1997. So she heard Dimitri say, I saw something. She got the recorder, but he wouldn't let her record it. This is the only thing she could remember. A very large bear, as big as a building, bent again to do battle with an unarmed man. That's what it's going to be like when Russia finally decides to turn and attack America. This is how it'll be when the hardships come over America. No one would be able to defend her. Only those that trust in me will be spared. Everything will start with a heavy rain on a sunny day when you least expect it. That's what the other prophecy said, too. Medvedev, I just read this the other day, too, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. Pause and read if you want to. Medvedev, this is again warning NATO and America, stop kicking the bear. Stop throwing rocks. Stop sticking your finger in the eye of the bear. You're making the bear angry. The, the bear is warning us. We're not listening. Again, U.S. and NATO nuclear consequences if they continue the path they're on against uh, Russia. In other words, again, it's the same issue. These weapons that you've given to Ukraine, Ukraine p- can push the button to fire them, but they can't aim them without U.S. satellites. Russia knows this. So when they hit Russia, Russia has already made the determination it's really coming from America, from NATO, and it's going to give them the excuse to attack and take America out as they have desired to do for a long time. Now, I want you, I showed you this the other day, but I'll, I'll just cover it briefly. These are the documents directly from Russia showing that Russia is now inviting people from selected nations, America's not on the list, from selected nations to move to Russia. So, that means that Russia has opened her doors for people to go to Russia. But, what I'm about to read for you says that soon Russia will open her doors and let the Russians leave. If they don't like it, they're going to say, get out. Okay, that's kind of like right now we see people burning our flag. You know, we want to say, look it. America, like it or leave it. You don't like it? Leave it, okay? That's what Russia's going to do. Now, I read this the other day. I won't read every word, but I'll just make the point. So, Henry Gruber walked and prayed over cities, like over 500 cities, pulling down strongholds, loosening the angels to do warfare. While he was out doing this, all of a sudden, God showed him a vision, lifted him above the earth. He's looking down on the earth. He saw all kinds of massive amounts of airplanes and ships coming out of Ramonsk, which is up northern Russia, coming down over the Atlantic, attacking America. Then he saw radio communication towers, which he did not know in 1986, that these were cell phone towers. Later he discovered what they were. He said, I saw missiles come out. And he said he saw that the Russian submarines are like on our beaches. He said, I, I saw when these communication towers were shut down, in other words, like some kind of an EMP blast that totally shuts down America just before the attack. We have no warning. In other words, don't count on your radio, your cell phone to work, which is, by the way, why you want to have one of these. Put this on your car. Hopefully your car starts. They also have them for your house. And if you use a promo code PROPHECY, get your $50 discount and it helps your Prophecy Club. If you want your car to start after the, I say after the cell, the suitcase nukes hit, I say, look, when you got 37 prophecies on one thing, that's pretty much a guarantee. 37 prophecies say suitcase nukes are going to hit, and this guy right here is designed to see that your car will still start things in your house. The computer chips don't get fried. Anyway, so he said, I thought, Oh, no, no, they're not getting through. They're, they, they don't know what's happening. In other words, the warning that's supposed to warn us that the missiles are en route does not work. There is no warning. Then I began to see submarines emerging from under the surface. They were practically on our beaches. He said it took 60 seconds for from launch to detonation. Think about that. 60 seconds from launch to detonation. He saw several, Seattle, Bellevue, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, Miami, and Florida. Dimitri saw basically up and down the east and west coast. Doesn't make any difference because 
so many of them are going to hit that I probably should look it up and have the verse again. But there's a verse in Jeremiah 50 or 51 that says the earth is moved at the taking of Babylon. So, so many of these nuclear bombs go off all at the same time. It literally begins to turn the earth. And I suspect that's Isaiah, was it 19 or 24? I've got to look that up again, too. But the earth turns upside down, scatters abroad the inhabitants thereof. And that may very well be. In my opinion, the Russians are going to attack and defeat America in one day about four months before uh, Armageddon. And I believe that when the bombs come down, we go up to the marriage supper of the Lamb. That's not a rapture, because, again, that's only four months before uh, Jesus returns for Armageddon. And then we go up to the marriage supper of the Lamb. It is not about us. It is about Jesus. We only get a wedding garment. We do not get any of our crowns, our rewards, or anything. We get to go up there and see Jesus brought before the Ancient of Days, where he's given dominion and glory in a kingdom. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. His kingdom is that which shall not be destroyed, that all people, nations, and languages should serve and obey him. Then after he is crowned king of kings and lord of lords, he changes from lamb to lion of the tribe of Judah. He changes from the prince of the kings of the earth to become the king of kings and lord of lords. He's given all power, all glory, the, the total, he, he becomes the bright morning star at that point. Then he comes forth and serves us for about four months at the marriage supper of the Lamb, those that are ready. And that's the reason, what's the verse? Uh, Revelation 14, 13, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth, yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. These are the true Christians but they weren't ready to go, so they didn't get to go to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Now, let me ask you a question. If you don't go to the marriage, are you the bride of Christ? Look, if you don't go to the marriage, how can you be the bride of Christ? So some people teach that if you've accepted Jesus, you are the bride of Christ. Look, if you don't go to the marriage supper, you're not the bride. Okay, you got to go to the marriage supper to be the bride. Then four months later... Jesus gets a white horse. The two angels with sharp sickles get white horses. The armies in heaven get white horses. We get white horses. We ride with Jesus. That's when the heavens roll back like a scroll. Jesus blows with the breath of his nostrils. He brandishes his sword. And at that moment when he does that, the sun, moon, and stars dissolve like smoke, Isaiah 34 says. And then his morning star goes to the center of the earth, sets the foundations of the mountains on fire. The hills melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The hills melt like water running down a steep place. Every mountain falls, every valley fills in. The earth is turned into a nice round smooth ball wherein there is righteousness. At that moment, when the morning star hits the tear, they fall to the ground, a pile of ashes and bones be they on the surface, be they into some kind of... Under, the, the, the people that are under the ground. And they, they, they saw him that sat upon the throne and said, um, oh, how's it worded? Revelation 6, 12. Um, well, I, I lost that. Sorry, Revelation 6, 12. They're under the ground, but they look up and they see him that sat upon the throne and they say, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sat upon the throne from the wrath of the Lamb for the great day of his wrath has come. Who shall be able to stand? And that's the reason Luke 21, 36 is not talking about the rapture. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you might be accounted worthy to escape these things and to stand before the Son of Man. It's saying escape the burning. And if you escape the burning, then you are left standing. You didn't burn, fall to the ground, a pile of ashes and bones. As the morning star hits us, out of our belly flows rivers of living water. Just that quick we get our glorified body our mantles, our crowns, our rewards, and for us, we are then in eternity. By the way, all of this is in my book, Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy, which, in my opinion, is the best book on Bible prophecy outside of the Bible itself, of course. And you can get that at prophecyclub.com. Secret Door to Understand Bible Prophecy. It's got big charts in the back of it. Here, i got a copy. Get this stuff out of the way here. Okay, so this is it. In the back, it has charts. This is the chart showing 
the last seven years. The audible voice said the seven seals play over seven years. The seven trumpets play over seven months. The seven vials play over seven days. Then this chart is the last seven months. And so it explains. It goes all the way through it. And you can get it at prophecyclub.com. One for 20. Don't do that. It comes in shrink wrap sets of five, I believe it is. You get five for 35. Secret door to understand Bible prophecy. Okay. Let's see. Was that all the points I wanted to make? No. So he went on to say, I heard an audible, he says, what will this, when will this be and what will be the sign of its coming? He heard an audible voice speak and say, when Russia opens her doors, okay, right now, I mean, what, was it the 17th of, of September? I believe it was or something like that. Russia has opened the doors for people to move into Russia. This is when Russia opens her doors and lets the masses go. Well, Russia has now opened her doors, but for people to come in. So does it stand to reason Russia opening her doors, letting the masses go would be something just around the corner. Why would she do that? Because if they're traitors, if people don't like Russia, don't want to live in Russia, before Russia goes to war, it's a very smart idea to cleanse the ranks. So they say, look, if you don't like Russia, then get out. You know, you got 30 days, you got 90 days or something, to get out, get out of Russia. That way, what is left in Russia are the people that love Mother Russia. Does that make sense? Anyway, we'll let, when Russia opens her doors and lets the masses go, the free world will busy themselves feeding, clothing, housing, and transporting the masses and will let down their weapons. Then is when it will come. Okay, so in that Russia is just now opening her doors, in that we are making Russia angry, I can say it's getting close. It's getting close. Get yourself prepared. First, ask Jesus into your heart, then make other preparations. In 2021, I started making bread. And long story short is I believe God showed me that wheat is God's famine food, just like it was famine food back in the seven years of plenty, seven years of famine, days of Pharaoh and Joseph. And I believe that that's what God has planned to feed his people. And you get it by going to josephskitchen.com. Three steps. First, you want to get a machine package. Second, you want to order six ingredients and watch some videos, download the recipes to be able to make the bread. josephskitchen.com. Most of your long time storage food, emergency food, all of that. Typically, you're talking $9,000, $10,000 to feed one person for a year. Joseph Kitchen can show you how to do it for around $1,000 a person, and your kids will actually eat it, and it's actually good for you. Here's some bread that I made. In my case, I lost weight, lowered my blood pressure, gives me more energy. I eat a morning, uh, slice in the morning, slice in the afternoon. There's always a slice before I go play racquetball. Go check it out josephskitchen.com. If you don't want to lose your life's savings, if you have an IRA or a 401k, the thing to do is call 800-200-GOLD. 800-200-GOLD. These folks are Christians and they specialize in helping people not lose their life savings in the event of a stock market crash and things like that. Look, most of the 401ks, most of the IRAs are in paper, backed by paper, and as Lindsey Williams says, if it's in paper, it's worth the paper it's written on. You can lose it all. 1-800-200-GOLD. 800-200-GOLD. Hey, give them a call. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't cost you anything. See if they can give you some good advice. When the suitcase nukes, I didn't say if, I said when the suitcase nukes go off, if you want your car to start, if you want your computers and your refrigerators and things like that, anything with a computer chip to work, you want to have one of these. From EMPShield.com. EMPShield.com. And they have videos up there. It takes about 10 minutes to put on. It's not complicated at all. And if you use the word prophecy, promo code prophecy, you get a $50 discount and it helps your prophecy class.